Hello, everyone. This is Karen. Hello, everybody. I am Shane. How is your tribe, Karen? My tribe is doing very well. That's good. <laughs> Today we're looking at day two of watching elephants walk free, and the vocabulary words are found. Found. A group of teachers founded the school in 1805. Educate. Educate. Anthony's job is to educate the public about dangerous illnesses. Weave. Weave. Laura wove a beautiful basket for her granddaughter to keep fruit in. Activity. Activity. The city has plenty of activities for both locals and visitors to enjoy. Opportunity. Opportunity. The actor was given a great opportunity to show everyone his talent. So we're still talking about elephants, right? And we're talking about your tribe. That's the, right. The Karen tribe. What is the goal of my tribe? Do you know the goal of my tribe? Well, I know that at the sanctuary, it's to take care of elephants, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's actually not my it's tribe. Not it's just tribe. called Karen Tribe. Yeah, yeah. you're Karen. That's right. Okay. But it's to uh, for the welfare of the elephants, right? Well, so if if you go there, obviously you're not going to be riding elephants or really like playing with elephants. So what can you do if you go there? I think there's a lot of great things that you can do. Like、mm. I know、um, in this article. I think this person she cooked and then she ate with the host family、yeah. and then she also taught English to the、oh, children there、okay. and then while they educate the you know the tourists or visitors on how to protect or save elephants. Yeah, and I remember there was like basket weaving. <gasps> That's right.、Yeah. That's right. You can also weave baskets. So I guess yeah, there's some activities you can do there, and I'm sure you get to. Interact with the elephants a little bit, but it's not really like using them for entertainment. Exactly. Right. So that sounds like really cool. It's like what they said—a win-win situation. That's right. Both sides get something great out of this. Yeah, because your tribe, my tribe, can, Karen can tribe, can earn some money and learn some English. You're right. And then visitors can help to teach English and get to learn about the elephants and and learn how, other things too. How meaningful is that? Sounds really fun. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to Thailand and do it. All right. Enjoy. Watching elephants walk free. Kindred Spirit Elephant Sanctuary was founded by Carrie, who grew up in Northern Ireland, and her husband Sombat, a member of the Karen tribe. Their goal is to protect the welfare of elephants, and that is why the sanctuary does not offer elephant rides or elephant performances of any kind. Instead, it tries to educate visitors about these amazing animals. Today's lesson is called "Watching Elephants Walk Free," Part Two. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. And yes, for Part One of this article, we were up there in northern Thailand in a small hill village, and we were at the Kindred Spirit Elephant Sanctuary, which is a great place for elephants to go to be free. No longer do they have to carry heavy tourists or work in the fields. Pulling trees out of the ground, doing stuff like that. They can just do what they want to do because people who run the sanctuary love elephants, want them to be happy, healthy, and most of all, free to not be used as working animals. And the good thing is, as tourists, we can go up there, stay with a local family, learn about the sanctuary and the elephants, and see them just being happy. Yeah. And a happy elephant、mm -hmm. is a glorious thing. Anyways, Kindred Spirit Elephant Sanctuary was founded by Carrie, who grew up in Northern Ireland, not Northern Thailand, Northern Ireland, and her husband Sombat, a member of the Karen tribe. Now, here we have this word "founded," and you might be thinking, "Oh, found." That's the past tense form of the word "find." Oh, I found that. Yeah, that's not the case here. Find, found, 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 founded, founded. Here, if you found something, you establish that thing. So this sanctuary was founded by Carrie, i.e., she's the one who started it. She's the one who established it along with her husband. For example, a group of teachers founded the school 
in 1805. Oh, like Sun Yat-sen founded the Republic of China in 1911. Okay, he started. He was the guy who began it, had the first idea, said, this begins today. And it says their goal is to protect the welfare of elephants. And that is why the sanctuary does not offer elephant rides or elephant performances of any kind. If you want that tourist junk, go somewhere else. This is for helping the elephants, not for using them to make money. They just want to protect the elephants and make sure they're healthy and happy. So if you can't go on a ride, if you can't see the elephants stand on one leg and do a trick, what are you going to do? Well, maybe learn something. It says instead, it tries to educate visitors about these amazing animals. I would l rather learn about elephants and watch them stand on yeah. one leg. Yes, to educate is basically to teach, to learn, right? You educate yourself by reading books or going to museums. You can be educated by going to school and teachers educate students by teaching them and sharing their knowledge. So it's all about learning, schooling, becoming smarter, getting more information. Educate yourself, learn more about the world around you. For example, and Anthony's job is to educate the public about dangerous illnesses. Oh, this could be Anthony Fauci, that ah. doctor in America, right? The ones who've been talking about COVID-19, telling people to wash their hands, wear masks. We're learning. We're being educated by these doctors. If only people would listen to him. Some people uh, aren't being God. educated. That's anyways, yes, anyways, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. We'll be back. Soon. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。作者去参观的大象庇护园地呢，是由 Carrie 和 Sombat 共同创立的。Carrie 是在北爱尔兰长大的，那她的丈夫 Sombat 是克伦族人。他们创立这个大象庇护园地的目的呢，是要保护大象的福利，不是为了要取悦游客。那就是为什么这个庇护园地不提供大象骑乘或是任何形式的大象表演。还有啊，他们也会试图去教导游客，让游客来了解这些神奇的动物，也就是大象们。好，我们先来看两个单词 ：found。Found， 它本身是一个动词哦，表示建立、成立或是创立。那么动词三态是 found、found it、found it。再来看 educate，educate educate 这个动词表示教导或是教育。好，那刚刚说那就是为什么怎么样怎么样？课文用到的句型是 that is why， 主词加动词，表示说那就是什么的原因，那就是为什么怎么样怎么样。而句型中的 why， 它是引导名词子句来当主。词补语用，举例来说 ，Mia had to run some errands. That's why she couldn't join us for lunch. Mia 必须去办点事，那就是为什么她没办法跟我们一起吃午餐。好，接回到课文中。Watching elephants walk free. But we did more than just get to know the elephants. We also cooked and ate together with our host family, took a lesson in basket weaving, learned about the language of the Karen people, and helped teach English to the children in the village. In doing these activities, we were able to experience the local customs and culture firsthand. By providing such opportunities to visitors, the sanctuary gives back to the village by helping the villagers make money and learn English. It's a win-win situation. Okay, so we've got some people there. They are visiting this elephant sanctuary, and they are learning about these elephants. They're not saying, "Hey, put on a show for us." Oh, I want to ride the elephant, which I did, but I was very young. I didn't know any better. <laughs> okay, but yes, all right. What they did there is they went there and they got an education on elephants. Yes, the article continues by saying, "But." We did more than just get to know the elephants. We learned about them, but that's not it. Okay, we also cooked and ate together with our host family, took a lesson in basket weaving, learned about the language of the Karen people, and helped teach English to the children in the village. So they went to the sanctuary, and they had a great time, and they learned a lot. But was that was that all? Not even close. Wow, I'm surprised by how, mu how much they were able to do during their trip. Anyways, here we do have this word weave to talk about. 
It's a verb. When I think of weaving, I think of a knitting-like operation. Sometimes you'll see someone with two long needles and some string, and they'll be weaving those strings together there to make a piece of fabric, let's say. Here, though, if you're basket weaving, you're taking a material, maybe like dried leaves or bamboo or something like that, and you're kind of knitting them together, interleaving them, turning them into a mesh. Yeah, you go over and under, side by side, and stuff like that, and you take these materials and you form a basket by weaving those materials. For example, Laura wove, that's the past tense form here, Laura wove a beautiful basket for her granddaughter to keep fruit in. Oh, okay. Probably using a strong grass or a leaf or something mm. like that. Maybe string too. Absolutely. Interesting. So, they did a lot of stuff. That was quite a list of activities that they did. Remember, I think they were there just two days, but they really packed in a lot of good stuff. And it says, in doing these activities, we were able to experience the local customs and culture firsthand. What is an activity? This noun just means something to do, right? That's what you do. You have different activities. Most of our activities we might not really think about, like going to school or going to work. That doesn't really seem like an activity, but I guess it is. But generally, these are things kind of we choose to do in our free time. Your hobbies, your pastimes, little trips on the weekend, meeting your friends for coffee and then going to see a movie. That's a common weekend activity. Something you do for fun or to pass the time or whatever. For example, the city has plenty of activities for both locals and visitors to enjoy. Th there's a lot to do. There's a lot of stuff to do. For everyone. That's yep. right. Anyways, by providing such opportunities to visitors, mm -hmm. the sanctuary gives back to the village by helping the villagers make money and learn English. How okay. about that? Now, here we have the word opportunity to talk about. It is a noun. An opportunity is a chance. You're given a chance to do something, to do something good, usually. For example, the actor was given a great opportunity to show everyone his talent. Yes, he got the lead in that particular show. He was going to be center stage and everyone was going to see how talented he, how talented he really is. He's been given this opportunity or this chance to shine. That's an amazing opportunity. And the other thing about an opportunity is often the idea is that this isn't something that will happen all the time. So grab, grab that opportunity. Yeah. Anyways, moving on, it's a win-win situation, mm. says our article. Both sides here win. It's good for both sides here, so you say it's a win-win or a win-win situation. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. When we come back, we'll be wrapping up our article. 在庇护园地里面，作者他们除了认识大象，还有跟寄宿家庭一起煮饭用餐、上编织篮子的课程、学习克伦人的语言，还有帮忙教导村里面孩子们英语。那透过这样的活动呢，访客可以亲身体验到当地的风俗文化。相对的，村民也可以借由这样的机会来赚钱学习英语。那么庇护园地不但保护了大象，也回馈了村庄。我们先来看三个单字 ：weave、weave 表示编织。那动词三态是 weave、wove、woven， 或者是 weave、weaved。Weaved. 那么 Jeff 老师在解释单词时，他用到 fabric 这个字，指的是织物或是布料。它是拼作 f a b r i c fabric。老师还有用到 mesh 这个字 m e s h。mesh 表示网线或是网状物。下一个单词 activity 表示活动。那么 opportunity 表示机会或是时机。这边还有两个重点。第一个。用 by 加上动词 ing 可以表达借由什么，透过什么。例如 ，He tried to lighten the mood by putting on some music. 他试着借由放音乐来让气氛变得轻松一点。第二个重点，片语 give back， 它是指归还、交还，那么也可以指回馈，像 give back to the village 表示回馈村庄 ，give back to society 表示回馈社会。Give back to the community, 或是 one's community, 表示回馈某人的社区等等。好，举例来说 
Volunteering is a good way to give back to your community. 当志工是回馈社区的一个好方法。接下课文中。Watching elephants walk free. If you want to see elephants in their natural environment, Kindred Spirit Elephant Sanctuary is the place to go. It's an experience you won't forget. Okay. Hopefully, one day I'll be able to book a trip there to northern Thailand because I want to visit this elephant sanctuary. It sounds like a great, great place. Absolutely, yeah. I think I would love to go there too. And if you're like us, the article says, if you want to see elephants in their natural environment, Kindred Spirit Elephant Sanctuary is the place to go. Sure, you won't get that touristy stuff, but all the tourists do that touristy stuff, and we know that it's not really right to do it. So go to this place. You'll learn a lot. You'll see a lot. You'll get to share with the local people. And as it says in our final sentence, it's an experience you won't. Forget it'll be very memorable, special, and yeah, you'll get some awesome Instagrams out of it too. So don't worry. Not unlike the what do you think question minus the Instagram part. This question, it's this awesome. You'll never forget it for as long as you live. It's going to be very memorable. Well, not really. The sanctuary though, super super memorable. But here's the question: Do you think that people should be able To ride elephants, Mike. Why or why not? I don't think that people should ride elephants. The reason is that if an elephant decided to ride me, I would be very upset. So you don't want people to ride horses either? Well, they're kind of used to it, and their backs are flatter.、Mm. Okay. But, you know,、right. maybe ask the horse's opinion. I think I'll do that during our break. Yes, folks, it's time for us to take a break because. Our lesson has come to an end. Bye bye. We'll see you next time. Take care. 同学们看了这两天的课文，会想去参观大象庇护园地吗？如果你想在大象自然环境中看到它们，那么庇护园地会是个很棒的选择。就算你没有想去，也可以多多关注这些动物，用聚齐大象、聚看大象表演的方式来尽一点心力。那最后来补充一下，老师们刚刚用到 awesome 来描述庇护园地，那么 awesome 就是表达令人赞叹的、非常棒的，它是拼作 a w e s o m e。Awesome 是形容词。好，那么以上今天的讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。Hello， 各位同学，大家好，我是建安老师。我们今天带大家复习啊、哦、这个应答问题第二个部分。来，我们从第四题开始听，准备好了。Are you going to attend a university abroad or stay in your home country? A. I studied architecture in college. B. I'd like to get my own apartment someday. C. I'd love to study overseas, but I can't afford it. All right, 这一题答案还蛮明显，对不对？是最后一个。那大家有没有听到两个选项呢？这种句子特别的长，是不是 ？Are you going to attend a university abroad? Or Are you going to attend a university abroad? 你要出国读大学还是 ？Stay in your home country. Or stay in your home a. country. I studied architecture in college. B. I'd like to get my own apartment someday. C. I'd love to study overseas, but I can't afford it. All right, so the answer is the third one, isn't it? You want to study abroad, or stay in your home country? C. Oh, I love to study overseas, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want to study abroad, but I can't afford it. I want That A 呢 ？I studied 这个就错了啊。I like to get my own apartment someday. 嗯，有一天我要买自己的公寓，这个没有回答到，所以答案是 C。好，我们再来听下一题。Do you know if Carl mailed a package this afternoon? A. I believe that he did. B. You need to take that box to the post office. C. Postage prices increase every few years. All right. 这一题呢，重点在于后面，对不对？因为它是一个间接问句，有没有听出来 ？Do you know if Carl mailed? Do you know? OK， 这个就不用听了。所以后面 ，Do you know 后面才是重点。Do you know if Carl mailed a package this afternoon? 所以呢 ，Carl 有没有 mailed a package？ 就这样而已
A. I believe that he did. Took us a dime, no? Oh. B. You need to take that box to the post office. C. Postage prices increase every few years. All right, so now this one, I believe that he did. The answer is A. Oh, that's it. Other words, no. Take the box to the post office. 跟这个 box package 类似相关的字 postage prices increase every few years. 每几年呢，我们就会涨一次邮资啊、哦、postage. OK. 那 every 呢是每一嘛啊？那我们之前应该有讲过，在文法的时候 every 后面要加单数，对不对？但这边是每几年就一次啊、哦，所以这边是一个小小的例外哈、哦。好，我们再看最后一题了，准备。Maria was supposed to arrive by five o'clock, wasn't she? A Yes, everyone is allowed to leave at five. B. Yes, you're right. I wonder what's keeping her. C. Yes, she did. She already turned it in. All right. So the answer is this one. Let's hear it again. Maria was supposed to arrive by five o'clock, wasn't she? Wasn't she? You just know. So, hey, this is a question. Then, what is it? 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 Everyone is allowed to leave at five. Leave at five. B. Yes, you're right. I wonder what's keeping her. C. Yes, she did. She already turned it in. All right. So the answer is 中间这个 Yes, you're right. I wonder what's keeping her. 那应该要到啦。那到底是什么东西耽搁到她了啊 ？What's keeping her? 那她无法来。那 A 呢 ？Yes, everyone is allowed to leave at five. 这个就是类似相同的发音，对不对 ？Supposed to arrive. 那这边是什么 ？Leave at five. OK. C 呢？也不对，是 already turned it in. 它已经交进来了。这个 No. OK. 好，以上是我们今天的课程内容。我们复习就到这边。我们下堂课见。拜拜。See you next time.